guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps here. And today we're gonna be talking about products that I'm currently lusting after. So if you're excited about this, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And if you're brand new here, you don't wanna miss out on any future uploads. So go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I do live streams and you don't wanna miss out on those either. Okay, so I'm just gonna say this. I'm a self-proclaimed makeup junkie and I love researching what's coming out and it also really helps for my channel and just deciding what products that I want to review. So with that being said, what I'm going to talk about are products that I know are either just out or going to come out at some other point that I'm interested in and also if in our imaginary world money was no object and we could just buy these things, right? <laughs> So the first one that I want to talk about is this one right here. This is the Sephora Warm Eyeshadow Palette. Now it's supposed to come out in the fall of 2017, so I know it's like torture. Why even bring it up right now, right? <laughs> but the reason I'm interested in this is because it looks like a really, really good dupe for the Natasha Denona Warm Eyeshadow Palette that's like $129. And I included that one in my anti-haul because I just... I can't spend that kind of money on something like that. Now this one is supposed to be priced at $64. I know, I know, like that's still a lot of money, but it's something that's semi-doable if you want to save up, especially knowing that this is going to be coming out in the fall. You know, you can kind of go ahead and set some coins aside for if you're interested in it. Now the cool thing is they also have two other eyeshadow palettes coming out. I believe that there's a cool toned one and an editorial one. So I think they're just gonna be really, really cool. It looks like it's gonna be really cool, like quality and just the shades are gorgeous. I mean, what's what's not to love, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I feel like that's something, that palette, the warm eyeshadow palette, is something that I would actually like use like a lot, you know what I mean? And not just like sit in my little makeup drawer. So um, I'm really excited to see that one come out. I'm just super sad that we gotta wait. Why, why do we have to wait? So the second one that I wanna talk about is this one right here. So this is the Shade and Light Glitter eyeshadow palette. Now I don't have the original shade and light eye palette but I've heard so many great things it's like a neutral eyeshadow lovers dream but see I like glitter shades I love a little like pizzazz you know what I mean so I think that this eyeshadow palette is really really gonna complement the neutral one like that way you can have some transition shades some matte shades and you can have some glitter and um, I'm super excited for when it comes out in stores to just swatch it see what it looks like to see if there's gonna be a lot of fallout or something like that see what the pigmentation is but it looks really really promising so that one is supposed to come out in July of this year and I'm just looking at pictures of the pigmentation um, there isn't really a price listed but the pigmentation actually looks really beautiful um, from I think it's someone's snapchat I'm not sure whose it is but it looks amazing the actual palette is also vegan friendly and all that stuff cruelty free if that's something that you must have then you should know that so that's awesome so the next item is this little guy right here this is the Lolita cheek and eye blush so if you guys are a big fan of Kat Von D's Lolita shade I know she has the liquid lipstick the lip liner and then now she's also got the cheek and eye blush so I just think that this shade looks so freaking beautiful and it can be used on so many different complexions and what I love about it is also if you're a matte eyeshadow lover this is gonna look really really nice on your eyes so it's got that dual function thing going on and it's also going to retail for about $19 and also looking online I noticed that it's supposed to launch on June 6th online on Sephora so if that's something that you're interested in you know go ahead check that out it is limited edition Ugh, unfortunately I know don't you hate when makeup companies do that like hello what if I love it I can't repurchase it you know 
that's just really annoying. But it is limited edition, so you should probably snag that because a lot of people are fans of the Lolita collection. So I have a feeling that that one's gonna be a really big hit. Now, these little lovely foundation sticks are going to be available at Sephora. They're called the Make No Mistake Foundation Sticks, which I think is such a cute little name. But basically, Sephora is coming out with 16 shades in a foundation stick formula, and they're supposed to be out in July. Um, I believe that they're going to retail for like $20. Now, of course, since these things haven't exactly come out yet, you know, the dates might change, the prices might change, but just from looking online, that's what I've seen so far. But I'm so excited because you can also use some of these shades to contour and they even went like really deep with the shade range which is what I love. I mean of course there's going to be 16 shades so it might not as be all encompassing as we'd like to but hey like I'm not complaining that's what I definitely want to do I want to get one of these for a nice like cream contour that I could just like take with me on the go you know um, just because I'm like a makeup hoarder not that I need it actually I mean <laughs> come on guys do we really need this stuff? No, we don't, but we want it. <laughs> so, speaking of foundation, Maybelline just came out with 16 newer shades of the Fit Me foundation, which is huge for me because I've always wanted to try that foundation, but I could just never find my shade. It's tough because, you know, I've got the golden undertones and when I get darker in the summer, I need a darker golden undertone foundation. But typically, the darker you go, the more red the foundations get, which can get me into trouble and can just look really weird on me. So I haven't been able to find my shade, so I'm hoping I've got my fingers crossed that they're gonna have a shade that matches me just better, you know? And what I love is that they also included eight shades for the fair to medium shade range and then eight shades for the deep dark tones. So hey, they wanted everybody to get in on that. And I'm still on the search for my favorite drugstore foundation and I'm hoping that that one is the one. Pray for me, guys. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we'll see. I'm really excited. I know that they're out currently. The problem, at least where I live, is finding all of them, right? Because I want to have all of them to compare to see which shade I am. But uh, they just disappear like that. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully I can get my hands on them soon. So I'm not sure if you guys know this, but Ulta has been really, really, really stepping up their game lately. They've had some amazing sales on products that Sephora actually carries. And there are some really, really, really good deals. So Ulta Online has just started selling sleek cosmetics and I've always wanted to try them, but sometimes I'm just like, I need to swatch things before I actually buy them online, you know? Unless I see somebody else swatch them and I know that that's gonna be right for me. So it's taken me a while to kind of be like, okay, I'm gonna buy that. But I'm really excited that Ulta is selling them now because that way, if I don't like it, I can just return it, you know, and I don't have to like kind of take a chance and gamble. <laughs> but they are known for their amazing highlighting and contouring palettes. And I was looking on Ulta and they also have some pretty bomb like matte eyeshadow palettes too. So I'm excited to try those out um, and let me know what do you guys think? Like is this something that you'd be interested in? Have you guys tried Sleek Cosmetics before? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section. Okay, so if you guys are a fan of this brand, Makeup Geek is coming out with three new bronzers, which I'm really excited about. And what I love is that they included a deep, dark shade. Like, thank you, Jesus, you know? <laughs> you would think by now that a lot of cosmetics companies would kind of get the message by now, but uh, not always. So usually when I see launches like this, I'm always like, eh. Like that shade isn't dark enough for me, but they have three lovely shades. So the shade that I'm particularly interested in is the shade Burnished, which is supposed to be a warm bronzer for deep skin tones. Now of course, we gotta get this in, we gotta swatch it, we gotta try it on, we gotta see what's going on with this thing, because sometimes you never know. They say it's good enough for deep skin tones, and then you're like, where? This is like a transition color for my eyeshadow, you know? <laughs> okay, so have you guys checked out the Juvia's Place 
blush palettes like let's just talk about them for one second so okay they have two blush palettes there's volume one and there's volume two volume one is meant for more deeper skin tones and volume two is meant for light to medium but honestly you can mix and match these like there's no rules as far as that goes and what I love about these is that you can also use them as eyeshadows so I mean for me I love products that are like dual purpose you know like cheek and eye like I'm all about that the thing is like I've just been wanting to get a hold of them for so long and every time they come back and stop they're like gone like that like I'm like what happened you know by the time I actually get on the website it's out of stock so yeah unfortunately I haven't gotten my hands on them but when I can I'm really 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 going to purchase a volume one because I just think it would just look so gorgeous on me and there's something about summer that makes me really want to go more for like bolder blush colors maybe because I'm a little bit more tan bronzed and melanated you know what I mean and it doesn't look as harsh but I can't wait for that one so moving on to lashes house of lashes has their light collection that they've just launched well maybe like a month or two ago but I've always wanted to try the house of lashes collection however I've heard that the actual band of the lash is super super thick and don't get me wrong I love thick lash bands because they're easier to apply but sometimes they're just kind of heavy on your eyelids so you end up like almost with your eyes closed by the end of the day you know what I mean especially when you're tired I really like that they have decided to make the light collection a little bit less intense and they've also thinned the band out so um, I definitely want to stock up on some of these bad boys and I want to try them and all that because my lash game has gotten a lot stronger lately. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of House of Lashes if you've tried them. I'm always interested in hearing your guys' opinions and experiences, especially with any of these products actually. Don't forget to leave your opinions down in the comment section for me because your girl has got to know how you feel. But I love doing these. If you guys actually want me to do more of these videos where I talk about products that are coming out or that have just launched that I'm interested in please let me know as well and um, I love you guys don't forget to check out my beauty products reviews playlist if you haven't already I've got some really cool gems in there and I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video bye